What's going on guys? This is the second part of my homemade mini camper build. Uh, just got some uh, some of the framing cut for the front side. This trailer is 5 by 8 and I'm going to make make it 4 feet tall. So this is going to be the front side. We'll go here. And I got these pieces cut and ready to screw together. Sheet of half inch plywood cut down to five feet. So I'm going to screw this on. I'm going to glue this. this all front wall all glued and screwed down so I'll get this out of the way and set up one of the side walls got the one of the first side wall laid out so I'm gonna screw that together each of the side walls are gonna have a window in the middle side walls all framed up now the window opening so now it's gonna cut sheet of plywood to fit this and screw it on side wall done. Now I'm just going to drill holes up in each of the corners of this so I can cut that window out.
I'm gonna wait till I get these walls up on the trailer before I put these windows in, but that's how it's gonna look. Now I'll just do the other side wall and then I'll probably put the front and the two sides up and then work on the back wall and the door. I got the front and the two sides done. So I'm just gonna run a little bead of silicone along the bottom where I'm gonna attach the walls and start setting the walls up. up is kind of what it looks like. And then I'm going to have a bigger door in the back, enough so I can get my four-wheeler on the inside. And I'll have a boat rack on top. And we'll probably have a fold-down table or two on the side. I'm going to go ahead and put half of the roof in now because it will just be a little easier to get at if I can stand in one half of the trailer. I'm just going to put one cross piece in for now. I'm going to add more but I'm just going to do one for now just to hold it. Got the first part to the roof screwed down, front half. Three of the walls on. Now I'm going to work on framing in this back wall, which is going to have a pretty big door on it, so it's big enough to get a four wheeler into. Got end wall complete now. It uh, doesn't look like much, but I want a big door on this, so. I can get my four-wheeler in there and use it for whatever else I might want to haul. So now, just like the other walls, put some silicone down and screw it in. Now I got one more cross piece to put in here and then I'll put the other half of the roof on. Got the roof finished screwing down. This wall's in. So now what I think I'm going to do next is since it's nice out I'm going to take I'm going to take the belt sander and clean up some of these corners. Just a little overhang. Okay, now I got all the corners and stuff all sanded down. Now I'm going to work on the door on. Just marked where the hinges are going to go. And then I'm just routing out that spot. I yeah, got all the spots for the hinges routed out. I'll try to get that mounted. 
Now I'll try to get this worm out and we'll see how it lines up. Got all the hinges in. And it lines up pretty good. So I don't have to do much work with that. Just finish screwing the hinges down and then I gotta frame up the inside of the door. I'm gonna put a plexiglass window in here. Now I got the inside of this door framed up and I put a window in. This is just a piece of Lexan. Just cut it in, framed around it, and after I get it painted I'll put some trim or something around that too. And next, I yeah, will be painting. I got to waterproof the roof, put windows in. Got wiring to do. So lots to do. But that'll be it for this video. Next one will surely be painting and windows. Now I've got the, uh, put the bolt rack on top, I have these brackets here, I put under this 2x4 to give it a little more support, and then some side brackets, and I reinforced underneath, so I shouldn't, I'm not going to be putting a very big bolt up here, but I've got both sides done. Went around and caulked on the outside where the walls meet the floor. And now next I'm probably gonna start painting walls and the 